How's it going everybody? My name is Hayden, and today we're going to make a sword similar to this one here that we've modeled. And it's actually not that hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So if you can tell, a six count, we're just going to use a cylinder. So let's jump right on in, and we'll give it a cylinder. Mine's already set to six. Uh, you can set yours to six with this here. If this isn't open, press T, it opens the side panel, and you can do it there. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right on in with tab and size it down. Good to go. Uh, next, we're going to actually want to go to the top view, size this down on the Y and put it about there. All right, so now we got about the perfect thickness of the sword. Then we can drag these vertices, pull them up, put them here, extrude, size down. Uh, we actually might just only want to size this down on the X though, until we extrude this and then do Alt M at center. Uh, let's just, no, see the side view looks too weird. Uh, let's hide you for a second. So we can just fix this now, size this down on the Y, and with something like that, bring you down doesn't need to be as pointy. Excuse me. Maybe even bring this bit out. Like that. Alright, so we got the top of the sword. Looks nice. Looks decent. You can always play with this. This is all about the flavor, right? So if you want it to be like a sharp sword, just pull this in. If you want to even have it look like that, do whatever you want, right? We'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Alright, next we want to take these bottom verts. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm moving around, I'm pressing the middle mouse button, which obviously rotates it, but I'm also pressing shift before that so you can move around nicely, right? It's a nice way to move around the scene. I'm also going to press N so you guys don't have to look at that panel. Now, A to deselect everything, B to select the bottom vertices. If you do this and it doesn't select the back verts, like these ones, it just means you need to press this here so you can see through. Nice and simple. So we'll take this, extrude, size it up, and we may want the handle to be about that big, that's good. Yeah, we can go with that. Um, I'm also just going to size it down a bit on the Y, because I don't want it to be too thick on that side. So that's fine. Then we can extrude again to about here. Uh, that looks decent. Boom. Alright, so now we need the handle so we can just extrude, size it down. We're also going to size it down on the X to make it rounder. Maybe size it up, just to make that small of a handle. And extrude this down, size it down. You could end your sword off like this, right? That's, you know, it looks cool. It actually looks really good. But now you can add a bunch of different flavor, right? So, first let's color this, actually, before I keep adding flavor. I'll go to UV image. I just pulled this part here, uh, added this in. Uh, if you guys have an image ready, that's beautiful. I have this thing called Igloo Texture. I don't know why I'm using this for my sword. Uh, it's just a random palette of colors. It's not too hard to make. Make it in paint. Just make some cubes. Uh, save it as a PNG, and then load it up in here. Um, I should also have the material. Mine's called Igloo Matte. doesn't matter. Then you just go in to edit mode, press A to select everything, U, Smart UV Project, and we got it over here. Uh, you want to go into Face Select though, and let's set this to the gray. I guess that's a decent gray. We can set this to yellow. We can set this to be blue. Doesn't really matter how we color it. What was the coloring option we did here? Yeah, so we actually chose more of a... Well, we set this to be brown, and we set that to... Is that blue? It's more of this one. Yeah, look at that. So let's call it the exact same, right? So you can see the swords look pretty different. We can hide this now. Now we can make a variety of different swords though. So we can go on in, maybe take this, extrude it, size it up. We'll pull it to the top, extrude it, size it down. Right, so it has the same handle. You can go in over here, extrude this, size it down, change the shape a bit. Uh, also, just so we make sure it's exact, we can delete these verts and then give it a mirror modifier over here. Boom. So these two swords already look pretty different. Uh, I probably want to just color this as well. Make it yellow. Uh, you can go in now if you wanted. Say, we'll apply the mirror modifier actually. Tab out. Uh, we can turn on proportional editing. Shrink this down. It's not going to rotate nicely. Let's give it a couple loops first. Then we'll grab this vert and rotate it. I don't know, if you want like weird curved sword, that just looks silly. We won't do that. <laughs> but there's a bunch of different options. We could, let's disable this, size you down, pull it up, maybe make the sword, I don't even know guys. Go like that. Can't think of anything right now. Right, you can have it look however you want. That just looks like it got burned or melted. Not the greatest. But as you can see, it's pretty versatile, pretty easy to do, and it looks pretty nice. It's cartoony. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I've been me. You've been you. Take care, everybody.